Hello everyone, this is a bit of a weird video for this channel, but I figured uh, this would be kind of a cool thing to make. So I've recently gotten into the habit of making my own icons for my phone instead of downloading icon packs. I think it's really cool, it's a fun way to customize my phone and uh, keep it fresh, keep it up to date, and I like to change it with like the seasons kind of. So uh, this is what my phone background looks like right now, and these are all the icons. Uh, I have it set up for fall, I've got a bunch of orange and like yellows and dark reds and i'd like to change that so it's more winter themed um because my my background obviously is winter themed right now so let's hop over to krita and let's look at some different ways that we can build our own icons obviously i'm using krita which is a free software uh, you can download it from the link in the description below um, it's totally free there are tons of tools that you can use there's so many different kinds of paint brushes i use it for making little digital cartoons as well as editing like photos and obviously creating icon packs. So the first thing I'm going to edit is my Lowe's icon. Don't ask why I have the Lowe's app. I just do. Leave me alone. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to go to Google Images and then look up Lowe's app and then we can find the icon on here. So there's that one. Then here's here's the one I want. This one right here. Um, it's a little bit low res, but it shouldn't be a huge deal because it's just going to be a little tiny icon on a phone screen. So let's go ahead and we'll just download that. So you're going to save image as. I like to just put it on the desktop. You could definitely make yourself a folder that can hold all of these uh, PNGs or JPEGs. I recommend PNGs. They're a little bit more versatile, but to each their own. So we're just going to go ahead and call this one Lowe's Icon. Okay, so that's our base icon we're going to work with. Minimize that because we'll come back to Google eventually when we make our second icon. So we're back in Krita now, and we're ready to pull our icon into our workspace. So what I typically do, this might not be the recommended way, but I always just import a layer. So I go to layer up on the top, I go down to import export, slide over, import layer. Just like that, and then you can find what you're wanting to look for here. And we saved this to my desktop, so let's just look for it, and Lowe's icon PNG right there. Okay, so it's a little bit small, so we can actually just right off the bat kind of just crop this, so we got a little bit so that's a little bit easier to work with. Obviously, you can just zoom in and crop at the very end, but honestly, cropping is not a huge deal. We're just going to get rid of the background at the end. Once we're all done with this, we're just going to get rid of this background. So what are we going to do first? Well, this is a very simple one. This is an incredibly simple one to begin with. So I'm just going to, I'm going to find my similar color selection tool on the left side here. That's how mine is configured. You can configure your workspace in several different ways. Uh, but, you know, you can watch a credit tutorial for that one. I just go to the similar color selection tool, you click it, and then wherever you click, it will select all the similar colors. So we can just go ahead and click on this blue. And now the blue is all selected and the white will not be affected by what you're about to do. So let's make a new layer and I'm going to use the new layer to add color. So what I'm going to do just to make it easy, uh, we're going to go ahead and make this, we're going to make this a nice green color. It's a nice Christmassy green. Pay close attention. So I have my eraser highlighted right now. You're going to want to change that one to whatever you please. It's really up to you. They have different textures, whatever you're looking for, just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to switch to this paintbrush and then fill that in. So now it's green. I think that honestly looks really good. Maybe Lo should take a hint from this video. So we've got green right there and then I also kind of want to change the text. I want to maybe make that red. Is that is that too Christmassy? That might be too Christmassy. So we're going to go back and we're going to select the white this time. Then we're going to go back to our color fill right there. And then just click on all the letters to change them into red. You can also zoom in and get that copyright symbol, obviously. So that looks okay. I'm not in love with it though. Maybe we need a brighter red. That might be the case. We should also maybe go back and change this green. I think it's a little too dull. I want it to pop. I really want it to pop. Now we're pretty much done. So once I'm done with all of my coloration, I like to just go through and hide all of the layers that I don't want to see. Always remember to remove your background or else you're going to get a white background on your app icon, which is not aesthetically pleasing. You, uh, I mean, unless you're going for that, but typically I like mine to just be the logo itself. So this looks really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this as both a Krita file and a PNG file. So I save it as a Krita file in case I want to go back and change something. Uh, that will keep all of my layers here and then I can come back in and change things individually. Whereas a PNG, if I save it as that, it's going to just save the image itself and all I can edit is pretty much the entire image. Let's go ahead and save this file. We're going to save it, as I said, both as a Krita document and a PNG. So I'm just going to call this, I'm going to call this Winter Lows. Save that file and then we're going to go ahead and save it again. Save as. 
are going to go down to the save as type all the way down to PNG and we can just keep the same name and save. Just hit OK. Don't worry about that screen too much. And then we're good. So the next step is moving your file to your phone. So here's our file right here. So at this point, you're good to go to plug in your phone to your computer. You also have the option of doing this virtually where you can open up your Google Drive. If you use Google Drive, I highly recommend it. Upload your file. So we've seen that it's uploaded. Okay, so on my phone, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my desktop and find the app that I want to change, which is obviously the Lowe's app. I'm going to press and hold on that app and then it's going to open up a little menu. Uh, you should hit the pencil icon or it might say edit depending on uh, what app it is. Um, just go ahead and tap that and then it's going to show you a different screen. It's going to show you like the edit shortcut screen. And then what you're going to do at that point is tap the icon and then choose gallery apps. Now obviously this may be a little bit different from phone to phone and based on which launcher you use. I use the Nova launcher but, I'm, but this should work pretty much the same way in a stock Android experience. So then I'm going to choose the Google Drive option. Go ahead and change the sort by option and I like to go to last modified because it puts what I just uploaded to the top which would obviously be my Lowe's logo. And we can see it is right there so we're going to go ahead and tap that to select it then hit select and then it should give us this option now to start cropping. Now what you're going to do is since we don't have a background it really doesn't matter how big you make it you just want to make sure your whole image is within your selection area. So as we see this is within the selection area so we're going to go ahead and hit done. We can see our app logo is right there. We're going to hit done on this menu and there it is. There it is. No background right there. Perfect. Let's find another app that we want to change. But this time, let's let's customize this a little bit more. So I'm thinking maybe my YouTube app could use a redesign. So let's go ahead and pull up the YouTube logo and drop it into Krita. So just like last time, we're going to type in uh, YouTube logo. Uh, and you might want to look up YouTube logo transparent, but you can always get rid of the background in Krita. It's not a very difficult thing to do. So we can see here it should be transparent. So let's go ahead and right click and save image as. And then uh, you can just change this to whatever you want it to be. So let's go ahead and put YouTube logo. And then uh, go ahead and hit enter and save this to your desktop. Okay, so now we're back in Krita. So we can go ahead and just follow pretty much the same protocol we did last time. Oh, uh, go to your layer setting, go down to import and export, import layer, and then just pull in your YouTube logo. Okay, so mine, it came in very large, which is not an issue actually, uh, believe it or not. So you're going to go down to this transform option right here. Uh, it should be on your left side if, you've, if you're using the stock Krita settings. It should be here on your left side uh, towards the middle. At this point, you're good to just drag and drop and resize however you please. Now, what I like to do is if you hold shift while you corner drag, it will keep the proportions right. So you don't want to make this too small because it will start losing resolution. You can kind of see some right there. That's not a huge deal. I'm not so worried about that. You're not going to see that at all uh, on your phone screen. So don't worry about little tiny splotches like this, but when you do make it too small, it does start getting a little bit bumpy. So let's keep it a decent size and then we can just crop down after. What are we planning on doing here? What are we planning on? Well, with Photoshop apps like this, you have a lot of options. You can do all sorts of stuff. If you really wanted to, you could go ahead and draw all over this thing. Um, and I think I'm going to do something similar to that. I kind of want to make this, I think I'm going to, I'm going to make it green. So right off the bat, right off the bat we're going to go to our color selection tool similar color selection tool pardon me we're going to click on the red and I'm just gonna go ahead and select a green that I like and then choose my paint bucket option and we're gonna color that now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make it look like a present I guess I'm going full full tilt into this Christmas theme I'm gonna choose my line tool and I'm just going to I'm gonna make it like red bands going all the way across this I'm gonna maybe skip over the logo I kind of think that would look nice, so let's do that. Okay, so now our bands are in place, so we're going to go ahead and just around the edge, uh, go ahead and just erase it a little bit. So probably the easiest way to get rid of all of these extra bands of color is to actually just select and delete. It will make a nice clean cut where erasing these lines will make a feathered effect, it kind of blends in, and then uh, you can see it kind of just shows the green right there, so it's a little bit more difficult to erase, but it is possible if that's how you want to go about it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the little nubbins that come off the YouTube logo, and then we're going to delete. So I'm going to do that real fast.
Okay, so we went through and we did our first rough cut and it's looking okay. I see I kind of missed a section right here so we can go back through and fix that. Okay, so now the outside is all cleaned up. Uh, I still have to go back and fix this area right here and that area right there. I like to make that look like a solid band going across. Okay, now that's pretty much all cleaned up and I'm liking the way this looks quite a bit. Uh, and I'm pretty much, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits right here. I think that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is pr the same process as last time. I'm going to save this as a crit file and a PNG file. Uh, oh boy, I almost forgot to do something very important. Uh, remove that background. Absolutely remove that background. This time I'll show you how this actually works when you connect your uh, phone to your computer. Okay, so now I have my phone connected to my computer and quite honestly this is a little bit easier to do than going through Google. It's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, so we see that we have our phone right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and you've got all of your different files. What you're going to do is open up your DCIM file and then this shows you where everything's at. And you can see some of my old fall icons. Uh, what you're going to do at this point is you're just going to drag and drop your icon that you want on your phone. And that's it. That It's, it's there now. Easy mode. Uh, so we can close this out and then let's switch over to my phone real fast. So now it's the same exact process as before. We're going to open up our folder with our YouTube app in it. We're going to press and hold, and then we're going to hit the pencil button or the edit button, whichever one you have. And then we're going to tap on the icon that we see. And that's gonna allow us to choose gallery apps again. But this time, instead of Google Drive, you're going to go to files. You're going to see the icon that you wanna add. So you're gonna tap that and then just resize, crop this and make it long enough so that it fills up the entirety of the app. So now that it's cropped, we can go ahead and hit done and done. And there we go. We've got our YouTube app. It's customized. It's all us. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I like the way it looks. It's very festive. But that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not much else to this. Uh, I wanted to show you just an easy way to get your icons changed. I do suggest that if you want this to be a fast uh, one and done thing, go ahead and get an icon pack. It's much quicker. It's honestly easier. And what I did last time for fall is I downloaded an icon pack and then I just went back in and I tweaked some icons that I wanted to change. And I just wanted to thank everybody for stopping by and watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you uh, or that if there's anything that you would maybe tweak on this, if you have any tips for me, because obviously I'm still learning. I just figured this would be a cool video to make. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.